Hey guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit about being locked in, being stuck and being trapped in an implementation that you don't like. So let's get into it. Now, one of my... I don't really know what to call it. I'm just going to say that it's one of those things that people will tell me and when they do, I, I always have that that sensation of, oh, you poor, poor person. You don't know what real life looks like. And that usually happens when somebody tells me things of this nature. Oh, writing something in this way or that way or <clears throat> solving a problem in that way is, you know, it's not best practice and, you know, it's ugly code and there's a slope here and that's something you should avoid because, you know, that's just crappy code and bad craftsmanship. And then we have people who will say things of this nature where, oh, why are you doing it this way? It's much easier to just use this library or that library or do it this way or do it this way or do that way. And every single time I hear it, I, as I said, I just come back to this, oh, you poor, poor person. I can hear that you've never been in a project where you haven't been the only contributor or you have probably never been at a larger project where all these decisions that you're talking about, they are not even on the table. Let me explain. So yesterday I was working with my coworker, one of our new hires, fiercely intelligent guy, really nice person and really good at what he does. And he had on his table basically a story to add a single field to the user sessions. Now for the unions out there you may not think so much about why this may be an issue. For the seniors out there you may probably guess what's going to happen because when you update a model such so fundamental as the user session a few things happen. Now just think about this. This means that if you now add a new field to that model, literally every single model within the entire system needs to be updated with that. Now that may not be much of a problem for you code-wise because hey, it's just a mod it's just a session, right? But if the system is really really large with a lot of integrations, which is the case here, it's going to take a while to do that. And it's also going to take a while to update all those tests said and done right. Not much of an issue there either, but it's a hassle. It's not so simulating work. So you go through all of that and you update all the models and you create serializers and all that good stuff that you need to do in order to get this field onto each of like to the actual user session and all of its subtypes because of course you have subtypes of different sessions because different sessions have different needs because you are of course storing different information depending on which integration you have. Now, my corker worked tirelessly on this, got it working and things seems to be pretty done. Then he comes to the last bit. All the code reviews are done, all of the, you know, the I's are <laughs> dotted and the T's are crossed. And now comes the big question. How do you change the existing models? What do you mean? Well, I mean that right now there are tons and hundreds and thousands of people. We have tons and tons of tons of ongoing user sessions. Now, of course, the easy thing would have been to just clear out all of those sessions, but that's not a really good user experience. So now we need to, you need to figure out how to migrate this session from one model to another. So a few options, we talked about it, and you have a few options here. You have everything from running a migration job to maybe having multiple models etc etc we kind of dished out all the details and at the end of it no solution seemed to be very nice because if you have say a batch job well since all of the information is encrypted that's going to run for quite a while so when you're running that you have to be damn sure that it works because otherwise you might leave your database in an inconsistent state and if you have multiple models well that's another one where you do kind of a rollover thing where people 
who access the application will, and we, when we deserialize the old model, and we see that it is an old model, we will simply re-serialize that information into the new model, and then that's going to migrate every user over for the duration of each session. Now, the tricky part here is that you have to also then have your data. You have to have to have your database. Your database has to be in an inconsistent state. So some records are going to be in one shape and some records are gonna be in another shape, which also is not a great thing. And you of course have to have multiple models for each session, which brings the total amount of models to, I think, 12 duplications, roughly. Not all, also not a great thing. And there, there's also the risk of something happening tomorrow and saying that, hey, we need another field. And then you have to have three models because now you have to cater for all of that inconsistency. All this bullshit that comes with having a truly complex problem, a problem that is tying you down in the possible, basically it's anchoring the total range of possibilities that you have available to you. And that's what I want to talk to you about. That's the thing that I want you to remember when, when you make that mental mistake of thinking that you will always have a say or always have the solutions that you think, can think of right now available to you. You will not. One of the biggest things for a software developer, one of the most important things that you can learn is to understand the fundamental problems that your system represents to you. In other words, you want to be the sort of software developer who understands the problem and not the tools around it. Because if you just know how to do it in a very specific way, it will you will not survive for very long. Because the truly tr complicated problems are not how to get a specific framework to do something or how to get a, I don't know, up, a React application to work or an Angular application or how to do these, these sorts of things. Truly complicated problems within larger projects has to do with the fact that you have an existing state. Something has already been created for you. And because you don't have infinite amounts of time. You cannot just rewrite the whole system the way that you want it to fit into your specific needs. You have to have the ability to sit down, take a look at the problem and figure out the best solution that you can provide given the circumstances. And it's going to feel like, I, you know, I could even see on my coworker's face, like he felt really dirty when he started implementing this because this is not good engineering practice, but there's no other choice. And that's the thing. What's most important is that stuff gets shipped. The company doesn't care if, if you have to cut a corner here and there in order to get the feature out. That's the important part. And considering the alternative, which would mean you have to restructure the entire application, I hope you can see that sometimes you have to be able to solve a ugly problem in an ugly way and simply live with the consequences of that choice. Have a great day.